Hello friends, in this video I want to demonstrate two types of turntables which are supported in modified version of Flex Scan 3D and we can use them for automating the calibration and scanning process. The first one is the, is the famous dual axis remote point turntable which is available in the market and you can use, use it for uh, scanning medium size and big object sizes but it is not uh, the best solution for macro scanning and scanning objects with uh, dimensions less than 5 cm. In further, I will talk more about this limitation and also during this video you will see how it uh, works in the modified version of Flex Scan 3D and you will see its performance in the software. The next turntable I want to introduce here is our die kit solution. We have named it Arison. Arison is a Persian name, and this turntable is specialized and customized for macro scanning, usually for scanning parts from 1 mm to 10 cm. And it has very stable structure, smooth movement, acceleration, deceleration, zero backlash, and also zero clearance. And so it can accurately position the, uh, the object on it and leads to accurate scan, scan alignment in the software. Uh, Arison turntable is available as a direct solution so you can make it yourself and we have provided the CAD design of the table, codes and also a full instruction to help you to, uh, to make it yourself. And um, also it is available as a pre-assembled device you can purchase it directly from us. It has a controller, four axis controller. This turntable has two axes, but uh, its controller is an Arduino and CNC shield controller, which can uh, support four axes simultaneously. And uh, so uh, you can make your own customized turntable with, uh, with any shape and geometry and use this controller to drive your own uh, turntable and communi communicate directly with the software. Now let me make a comparison between these two turntables and let's see for what application they are, they are more suitable and have better mm, performance. Uh, first, RevoPoint turntable. As I already mentioned, it is a good solution for scanning medium size and big object size, uh, but not for uh, macro scanning. Why? Why it is not good for macro scanning? Uh, consider this pen as the rotation axis of the turntable. If you put this pen on the rotation axis of this table, uh, there is a parameter call, uh, called eccentric or out of uh, center parameter. That means the distance between rotation axis and uh, the center of the object. Uh, the best uh, value for uh, eccentric parameter is zero. That means it is better to keep the object on the rotation axis of the turntable because when the object is on the rota rotating axis and the table starts moving and tilting, the distance between the object and the scanner and cameras will keep the constant. No huge changes in this distance. You know, uh, the focusing range of the cameras and the, the calibration range of the scanner is a percentage uh, is a per percentage of the distance between the object and the scanner. And for macro scanning, when you are placing the object closer to the scanner, usually uh, in distances less than 30 centimeters, uh, the focusing range of the cameras and calibration range of the scanner is very few centimeters, usually two, three or four centimeters. And if your turntable has a big eccentric uh, parameter, when uh, the turntable starts tilting, start tilting, um, it run out, it run the object out of focusing range of the cameras and calibration range of the scanner. So uh, this turntable is uh, used usually for scanning bigger objects. Uh, from longer distance, usually uh, from 50 centimeters or more. Fortunately, we have considered this problem on the horizontal table, and 
uh, on Arison turntable, object is always on the rotation axis of the turntable. So the distance between so the distance between the camera and the object is always uh, fixed and constant, even when the can, turntable starts tilting and moving. You can see clear, clearly. This is the first major difference between these two turntables. And the second problem with this RevoPoint turntable is this clearance and backlash. You can clearly see it. This backlash and clearance is not uh, noticeable for scanning bigger objects when you are uh, when you want to scan a 10 cm object or uh, more. But when you want to scan a small object, usually a 1 cm object, this backlash can lead to misalignment of scans in the software. Uh, anyway, uh, Forex Scan 3D software is a powerful software and uh, by using its um, fine alignment method, uh, it can overcome this issue too, but um, it is not uh, idle. Fortunately, in the Arison turntable, there is no clearance and backlash. We used uh, timing belt and very fit bearings for mounting the table and also the object, and uh, it can um, accurately position the object on the turntable. The third difference between these two turntables is the width of the table or bed, bed of the table. Uh, on the point turntable, the width of the bed is about 20 cm. Here we can see. And the width of the table is 20 cm. And uh, for macro scanning, if you use this turntable and place it in close distance of, uh, from the scanner, when the turntable starts tilting and moving, it completely cover and hide the object behind itself and cameras can't see the object anymore. Uh, so, generally, uh, you can place it uh, in very close distances. To overcome this problem, you can place a uh, uh, temporary object on the turntable and place your main object on this temporary object and then start scanning it. But, but uh, this temporary uh, linking object increase the eccentric parameter and uh, increase the error due to this parameter. In the horizontal table, we have used a chunk for holding the part. Here you can see it. It is very easy and fast for using. Place and pick up in less than 3 seconds. And it is very stable. No movement and no clearance. So cameras can see the object at, uh, at any angle from different views. And uh, for the fourth difference between uh, these two turntables, I want to mention the tilting angle limitation uh, of the RevoPoint turntable. It can only tilt for uh, minus and plus 30 degrees, not more. Uh, and if you want to scan a complicated object like a miniature, you know, uh, miniatures are very complicated and have uh, lots of details and uh, you must scan them from uh, very different angles and views uh, to capture all uh, geometry and details. This, this, uh, this turntable can't uh, uh, handle this process because it has a, its a tilting angle is limited to uh, plus and minus uh, 30 degree. Uh, and in our center table, I, I want to mention, in our center table, there is no uh, limitation for tilting and moving. You can see here, our center table can move and rotate for unlimited 
angles. Okay, now what? Uh, anyway, for a scanning medium size and large object uh, sizes, uh, Rebel Point Turntable is a good solution. And also, I see uh, many interests for this turntable because it is uh, ready to use and it is very simple. Uh, it has very simple wiring too. It uh, only have it only has a uh, one uh, power port and here is the cable. The power cable connect to the power point and uh, no any more wire. It connect to the PC via the Bluetooth and software modified very long flex scan 3D uh, can control and control and drive the turntable via the Bluetooth. And now let's uh, start using it in the software. Uh, for running the turntable, press the button on it. And leave it for some few seconds and uh, to have it in the um, home position. Now you can see it is ready to use. Uh, and uh, here in the software, we can uh, manually or, or automatically uh, control and drive the turntable. For manually controlling uh, the turntable, we can use the GUI here. Now, turntable is connected to the software and the LED is not blinking anymore. Now, uh, for starting and a test, uh, I want to tilt the um, uh, turntable for 10 degrees. Now it is tilted, you can see. Now for more than 10 degrees. And then one for more 10 degrees. It is the max uh, tilting available on this turntable. Uh, totally, 30 de totally 30 degrees and uh, now uh, we can return it to the home position now let's rotate the third table for 18 degrees 18 okay Now let's say uh, I'll tip the turntable for uh, 10 degrees for 20 degrees. It is more visible. And now let's uh, reset it to the home position. You can see both axes are working simultaneously uh, perfectly. Uh, now let's uh, check its limitation uh, in uh, tilting uh, and uh, what happens if we want to tilt it more than 30 angles. Uh, for testing first I tilt this turntable for 20 degrees. Now if I want to tilt it for uh, one more 20 degree that means totally 40 degree let's see what happens. You can see nothing happened, no error on software and no movement on the turntable. The uh, software detects this limitation uh, itself automatically and uh, don't allow to move the turntable for more than uh, 30 degrees. Uh, and also the software will not uh, be confused about alignment of the scans and uh, it only ignore this uh, comment for tilting it more than 30 degrees. Now let's uh, reset it to the home position. and it is ready to use. Also, you can use this turntable and also the Arison turntable uh, via the S-scripts for automating calibration and um, scanning process. And you can follow um, the YouTube channel and see my other videos for these purposes. Uh, as a conclusion, the RevoPoint turntable is a good solution for scanning medium size and big object sizes and uh, when you are placing the oven, when you are placing your turntable and your object in a more far distance, usually uh, from 50 centimeters or more. 
uh, it is fully supported in modified version of Felix Scan 3D and available in the market. You can easily buy it and start using uh, in the software. It is plug and play, only one cable and connect to the PC via the Bluetooth. The Arison turntable is specialized for macro scanning. If you are interested to scan small things with high details and fully automatically for accurate scanning, uh, the Arison turntable is a good solution. It is available as a die kit solution and also pre-assembled devices.